Welcome back, everyone. This is the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to Strategic Command. Quite an amazing turn last turn as we, if you watched it, you saw the Western Allies invade and they were not kidding around. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go look, but we are going to have to move some troops and do something here. First thing, just, you know, because why not? Ha ha, there you go. And we didn't lose a single point. Yay. Okay, that's the uh, that's the good news for this turn. <laughs> here we go. Now, we still don't know where the British are. I, I just had this nightmare of an idea that they might show up. The Brits could show up, like, popping up, like, down. Let me show you. Down here. They can pop up, and then they could invade here and really rip the guts out of the Axis powers. But let's hope the AI is not that sneaky. But I need to find out what's going on. So... We're charging in. We're angels fear to tread. Woohoo! Enemy contact. Ah! Well, okay, so you're dying, but at least we know we've got... S but again, that's American. That's not British. So, Oh, there's a British unit, though, so who knows? Maybe they're still recovering. So this guy's gone, and this guy's gone. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're not upgrading either one. The question is, what do we do now? Um, and the answer is, this guy's still, he hasn't, he hasn't made up. All right, you are going to come out here, and just for kicks, because I'm kind of silly, we'll actually see if you can fortify something. Yes, I know that that's not possible, but I know they're coming to get me. And they're going to make fast time, because look at this, they've got nothing down here. You, laughing boy, are coming up here. And so we're going to stand pretty much where we thought we would. Uh, we're going to try to stand on the Seine if possible. Because we don't really have much of a choice. Put somebody out there to slow things down. We're going to get our air out of the way here. Look at this. This is really disheartening to say the least. Can't, what? What do you mean you can't? Oh, well, that, that's fine. All right. Take Paris. We'll pull you here. Wow. Wow. That's it? Holy moly. So we can't even, like, get out here. We need to at least go this far. The very absolute very least. Uh, and if I pull stuff out of here, they're just going to come. You know that's going to happen. Now, the Hague, on the other hand, well, they could land here and... Mm, nope. Okay. Sorry, guys. I hate to do this to you, but... We need you where we need you. So let's put you there. And... You know what? No, we moved him. We can't do that. We cannot strip the whole stupid front, though. So we will reinforce you. And we are taking you next turn when you're available. That's so weird. Why can't... Well, maybe we just ran out of... Okay, that's fine. All right. 826. What can I buy with 826? Army. I'll take one. Without the mobility, please, because I can't afford it. What else could I buy? Heavy tanks. Get one more of those. You know, I'd rather have armies. I think right now, they're in terms of defense, they're probably more... I get more bang for the buck out of them. So, that's that. Italians, what do we got? 220... And they can't really get anything except anti-tank, which I don't really think they need. Some bombers, uh, garrison, forget that. Well, we got to do something with this. Research at this point's probably doomed. So let's go for artillery. And there's no improvements on that. And that's just about now. Let's look at production. May, June, for them, for us, it's May, June. So we've got, 
it's early May, so we'll have some help coming, but probably not nearly soon enough, but we'll do what we can. Oh, there might be a Russian sub there. And I've got nothing to <laughs> help out with that at all. Oh, man, let's back up a little. Look at this whole mess here. Um... Okay, I think I've done pretty much what I can do, which was pretty much nothing to start with. So, let's roll. Yeah. It shouldn't take the Western Allies long to blow through this because I haven't had time to dig these guys in. And once the rain leaves England and France, their air power is going to chop me up into itsy-bitsy little bite-sized pieces, I think. But, we'll see. Yeah. And we get any tank weapons? Three. Okay, that's... That's pretty good news, actually. I mean, it can't hurt. It might not help, but it can't hurt. So... Let's see who goes first. Are we going to do the Westerners first or the Easterners? Who knows? Oh, he upgraded himself. Curse you. Curse you, I say. Last thing we need to do is let the Western Allies get ports here. Although, actually, they're not in the med, so it doesn't... I mean, there's, there's no invasion threat there. So there is that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Every turn now is is like living under the sword of Damocles. You're just waiting for it to drop on you. <laughs> That's what playing defense is like. But I actually like playing defense because that means you're outnumbered, and so, you know, it's more of a challenge. Oh, boy. Apparently it's not raining <laughs> in England anymore. Here we go. See what they do. All right, come on, Luftwaffe boys. Chew them up. Chew them up. Ouch. Holy smokes, you lost half your strength. And they got jet bombers now. Lovely. Wow. Man, the Americans just absolutely blitzed through that... Uh, and apparently they've got one heck of a range on them, too. Come on! Those were prop jobs, and you couldn't take them? Gah. Yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. What's wrong with you people? Give you jets and you let prop job shoot you down. All right, see if you can do any better. Come on. Okay, it's eight. It's better than seven. Oh, not much. Jeez. Oh, Twelve. Woo. So clearly the Americans are. I mean, technologically, we're on the same level because there's no level past five. But clearly, experience-wise and stuff, they're way ahead of us. Wait a minute. Why? Oh, I haven't, I haven't upgraded him. I thought I had upgraded all my fighters. Oh, crap. So that other guy's probably a prop job. It is. They're fours. Oh, geez. I should have upgraded them. I, had the, I could have done it. Ugh. No wonder they got... Ugh. 
Well, that was that was stupid, and that was totally my fault. Great. Okay. Well. Uh oh. Well, don't get yourself killed, okay? Okay, only lost one point there. Oh, <laughs> man. This air war is killing me. I am not going to be able to keep up with this. Uh, there's no way I can upgrade all four of those fighters. Up, well, upgrade the two that are props and reinforce the two jet fighters. I can't do that on a regular basis. Not still have any units left to fight with. Jeez. Gotta be kidding me. Man, they're bombing the snot out of me. And this is all strategic. This isn't even tactical. Whew. Man, they are really hitting the MPPs this turn. Come on now. Don't get yourself killed. Well, that was rather rhetorical. <sighs> Great. <laughs> now the Russians are doing the same thing. Ugh. I have to say this. In the East, I'd rather they strategically bomb than bomb my units. Go. Oh, here comes the tack air. Oh, well, look at that. And shattered. So, hey, Cherbourg is an open, Cherbourg, rather, is an open town, open city. Just come on in. St. Malo, open town. Come on in. And there goes my sub. Wow. As if their ground forces weren't, you know, uh, intimidating enough. Their air power. Oh, geez. Their air power is just absolutely shattered. Bam. Breast is wide open. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to stand against this. This is. This is. This is bad. This may get the Western Allies to Berlin before the Ruskies. I will fight both of them with everything under my command, but oh, uh, my plan was a bad plan. Bad plan. Oh, very bad plan. Way to go, Breslatovitz. Good, good. I like this. This is good. Uh oh. This is not good. This is bad. We can stop now. Good. Oh, really? Man, the Jabos are. Ev uh. <sighs> great. <laughs> Just great. And if you were going to kill one of my fighter units, you could have done one of the prop jobs. Wow. Well, uh. Now what? <laughs> I'm not going to have any fighters, so the bombers I've got, I guess I'll use them, and just they'll just be wiped out, but I might as well use them and get rid of them. No sense in hoarding them. Oh, the brave battling boys of the Baku pocket. The panzers are continuing to be the focus of the Russian assault. It's the subhumans attack. Okay, we survived all that, more or less. And now, what will happen? 
They're thinking through combat. That's really not good news. Yep. Oh, it's a CV. <laughs> Great. Bye-bye. Oh, really? He survived. He survived again. And the destroyer goes headlong into glory. Trying to pick up my weak spot. Yep, smart move, but it won't work. Sorry for the sniffling. My uh, slight, my sinuses are bugging me tonight for some reason. They were fine all day, so maybe my body's complaining. Who knows? Another destroyer again. They're not. Look at that. That's a 1-1. One, one. So they're not even really building these things up that high. And that's interesting. It would be fascinating to look at the uh, the um, strategy that they used in their, in their research and their building. Great. So now they've got two ports, and they'll have rest in a second. And they're attacking the Nexus Miner, who's holding his own very good. But switcheroony time. Boom. Very good. Okay, good. So now they've just got one avenue of attack on him from the ground anyway. Really? Wow. Excellente. That's right. Run away. Uh-oh. Look at that. Boy, man, they're going down fighting. Look at that. These dudes get medals. Medals all around. And now there's nobody left to give medals to. Okay. Ah. So they, we lost that town, which I did not want to lose. We may have to look at doing a limited counterattack, see if I can get that back, because that's really bad news. Really, really bad. And there we go. So, okay, so Brittany has fallen. Normandy is next whenever they get around to it. I, I don't know if Nantes is considered part of Brittany, but, you know, it's a formality at this point. It will fall. Very quickly. You like probably right now. No. Good, good. Fight, boys, fight. Fight on. Fight. Mm. Yeah, wear them down. Wear them down. Got to keep wearing them down. Ah, a little special forces on special forces action. That's interesting. But why be fair when we can pull in more guys to attack them? Mm. All's fair, right? In love and war. So there you go. Oh, here comes somebody else. Beautiful. Way to stand up. Don't let him get you. Uh-oh. Baku pocket attack. Now this time it's the infantry. They withstand an attack. They was the infantry repels another attack with heavy losses. The cavalry strikes again. But the brave battling boys of the Baku pocket continue to resist. Knowing that their comrades in the south will soon drive through to relieve them and push the commies back. Of course, we actually know that's not going to happen, but they don't know that because it wouldn't be good for morale. Oops. Uh-oh. Done another one. Uh, engineer unit. You never know how they're going to do. They're not usually that... Oh, beautiful. Look at that. I love it. They're not usually that good at, on attack, I was going to say. Or defense. They're not really designed to fight. Oh. Okay, that's okay. Good. He's that's over at least for this turn. Man, look at all the artillery they've got. Ooh. Good. Get him down low. We like. Uh oh. Ah, oh, come on. He was less powerful than you. You 
let him go do that to you? Seem to be doing an okay job of more or less holding our own in the east here. Shouldn't say that till the turn's over, I know. <laughs> Cause here comes another one. Good. Uh, ugh. Oh man, no losses. Come on. That's it. Drop some artillery on him. Good. Good job. Good job. Uh-oh. Look at that. Even in the mountains they're doing the switcheroony. Hit him. Hit him hard. Good job. Love it. Oh, Lord. Holy moly. Man, I'll tell you what. For a reconnaissance unit, that guy just did really well. Because <laughs> usually, they don't do so good. But he's dug in deep enough, I guess, to where. But if they keep hitting on him, he's going to lose his dug-in status, and then we're going to be in trouble. Oop. Yeah. Hey, just keep picking on the poor corner guy. I tell you, it sucks to be the corner guy. Here we go. Sucks to be that shock army today, too. Uh-oh. All right. Well, wow, man. This is, uh oh. The Panzers take another hit and retreat again. But yeah, we're, it's, we're, they may wipe him out this turn. No, but, uh, they fill that one hex in up there. He's going to have nowhere to go. And if they don't, he might retreat there and you'd have two separate pockets. Oh, man. The battling boys of the Baku pocket are down to next to nothing. If they survive this turn, odds are they will not survive the next. And then what happens when the full wrath of the Soviets descend upon what used to be known as Panzer Army Africa and is now known as, uh, I wish we weren't in the Caucasus. <laughs> hey, nowhere else you can go that's any good, guys. You might as well stay there. East front sucks. The west really sucks. So, here you go. Man, they're still thinking about combat. Holy moly. Boy, that... That Persian unit has just really done well in on defense. I mean, got to give him his due. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, that's worse. No, why did you do that? No. Oh, crap. Look at that. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, great. Really? You guys had to pick now to start crumbling? 
Oh, here's the limeys. And they take Laharve. Uh, and right out of the bag. The guy's practically in a... Uh, yeah, Khan's taken. Normandy Falls now. A whole, like, what? Three months sooner than historically. So somehow, in my brilliance, I managed to invade England, conquer the entire Middle East, and the Western Allies are still a couple of months ahead of their historical schedule. And the Russians have been way ahead, of course, since I didn't drive into Russia very far. And the further this goes, the closer it gets to being historical. If we can get, if I can hold that line, basically, they'll they'll be about where they were historically at the end of the summer of uh, 44 campaign after the destruction of Army Group Center. Wow. <laughs> All that work for this? Come on. Sucks. Ugh. Okay, they're reinforcing. Hopefully, they don't have anything else to follow up that little blitz through the hole in the line. Maybe I can figure out a way to patch it. Isolate and kill that guy, which would be no big loss to them. And not really that big of a deal to me as long as I can more or less hold the same line. That's I don't want to start pulling back because then I lose my dug-in status and then things get ugly in a big, fat hurry. And here comes the U.S. The Germans. Everybody senses blood in the water. Everybody knows. It's just a matter of time. But we will not give up. We will fight on. We will look for a way to outthink and outwit our enemies. Ugh. Whoa. Don't like all these jets coming down here now. Come on. That's not nice. Not nice at all. Uh, they're thinking about transportation and amphibious moves. Great. That's what we need. It's more amphib. Yeah. That's just That's just peachy. And here we go. Cherbourg Falls. Unless for some reason he can't land the guy. If not, we can wait till next turn. But it doesn't really matter. Allies have plenty of major ports. So they got no problems in terms of supply and all that. Come on. Come on, AI. Oh, it's purchasing, planning. Hopefully it'll be done moving. Restrengthening. Yeah. Sure, just restrengthen everybody. Oh, my, my, my. Ah. Yes, Free Germany in the USSR. That must be a great committee. News spreads to Germany. The Germans are siding with the enemy. Rotten little creeps. And are we going to get anything? Come on. Some reinforcements. That would be nice. Guys that want to spend some time in this summer in France. Beautiful place to go. Probably won't be in the south of France. But, oh, yeah. Really? Thank you for that news bulletin. Okay, that's it. No <laughs> reinforcements. All right, this is it for us. So, um, 
Come back next turn and see what happens, because, boy, things are about to get interesting. So until then, this is the Wargaming Guy saying, hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think about all this, and uh, take care, everybody, and I'll see you later.